Hey everybody, it's 101 here, and welcome to another one of my video tutorials. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to clear caves underground using MC Edit. Why? Well, I've been getting a fair number of comments, PMs, asking for a tutorial on this, because these, these are people who uh, can't be asked and or don't know how. So, well, it's forgivable really. It takes so damn long to clear all the caves. You just don't want to have to do it manually. You can download a te transparent texture pack, but even then it still takes days. So, here I am going to be showing you how to do it the cheap and easy way using MC Edit. Just select and delete. So, as you can see, this is the tower from the tutorial, and instead of having 50 mobs in it, it has three, maybe four. Uh, so it's not working very well, understandably. So I'm going to cut to MC Edit. I'm going to uh, show you how to do it, and then I'm going to come back and show you the difference that it made, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to show off. I'm going to say, yeah, that's the end. Move on now. Nothing to see here. So. Be back in just a second. Okay, so here I am in MC Edit. Sorry, it's it's a bit buggy when recording. I'm not 100% sure why, but it is. So here I am. That's the tower. That little square floating head there. That's me. Um, those red blobs, I guess, are items. So how to clear caves? Well, you're going to start by going diagonally away from your trap a fair distance. Now, and then you're going to select a sort of water source block on the very top layer of the ocean, if that makes sense. Damn, I've got to sustain that. I, I'm getting better. I will improve. So, I don't, I don't think that's quite far enough away. I'm going to go all the way over here. I'm going to select one of these water source blocks, and you know it's the very top one when the bottom part of your little selection box is blurred, but the top part still has the white line. So, I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to go back towards the mob tower, and I'm going to... Whoa! Some real frame rate lag there. And I'm going to go all the way back to a far corner of the map. In fact, I'm going to go all the way to the very corner of the map, because this map's pretty new, it's not fully generated. So there you go. And now that's just the top layer of ocean for a long, long distance. There should be no air there whatsoever. So now what you're going to do is you're going to select this all the way down. So you've got all of the land and all of the water. And this is a big selection. So you need to make sure that it's centered properly. As you can see, the mob tower is not exactly in the middle there, so you're going to just go, you put your mouse over the side you want to extend, and you just extend it by just dragging. Click and pull. Nice and simple. In fact, I think I'm just going to select the entire fucking map. <laughs> okay, so, there you go. So you've made your selection of the entire map, or just the 300 by 300 or so section around your mob tap. Tap? Trap? Whatever. You know what I mean. So I'm going to now go fill and replace. I'm going to select air, not stone, air. And then I'm going to click this replace button right here. Or press R, it's a short key, shortcut thing. So now you click OK for that, and then you go replace. Now, on my quick computer, this will take 10, maybe 15 seconds, but on a lot of them, it can take hours. So, well, minutes. And it will say it's not responding, don't listen to it. You can tell it's responding because of another sort of button. If you go down to the second window that F MC Edit opens, there's sort of a command line and you can see all of what it's doing and stuff. So, there we go. It's now reloading the chunks because it's finished filling in all the air. So, that's about it. I'm now going to jump back to the actual save and show you the difference it made on the mob trap and you will be astounded. Okay, I was stupid there. You have to Believe it or not, you have to save the edits you've made, else they don't go into your game. Press Control, and you'll get this menu, and then press the S, and it'll just save at the same time. So, moving on, now I will cut back to the actual game. Be right back in just a second. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, it's now generating tons and tons of items. Loads and loads and loads and loads. As you can see, it's working and it definitely helped. So, that is why you clear caves with MC Edit. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my. I hope you enjoyed my video, despite all the microphone pops and such. I have my microphone positioned kind of strangely at the moment to try and stop that. Suffice to say, my chin is itching a fair bit. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like if you liked my video. And one more thing, someone has it's come to my attention that someone has actually copied one of my videos and is using it to put up a dodgy save. So, 
there will be a link to his channel in the description. I'd appreciate if you went over there and gave him some hate, but it's not exactly necessary, and I know it's bad practice, so... Yeah, that's about it. This tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. 101. Out.